Here's a quick update of my 10 gallon plant tank. I put a few rocks in there for my ghost shrimp to hide under. Hopefully you don't hear the hum of my computer, but I'm right at the back of it. Uh, here's a good look at my big female guppy that's ready to pop. And my best male guppy swimming away. Nice and colorful big tail. You can tell all the friggin' snails I got in here. All the little specks. Yeah, that's not gravel. It was friggin' snails, because some of the plants I brought home had... Either had snails on them, or had eggs on them. Whatever. <laughs> they just... At a tiny size like this, they just drop eggs all the time. Yeah, my peppered cory catfish. Hi, cory catfish. My green ones here are my two dwarf gobies, gouramis. I don't know why I said goby. Gouramis, that's what they are. And pretty little fish. There's a peppered cory cat again. Behind that, there's it's either my green or emerald green cory cat. I have them marked as two different species. Um, I'm not quite convinced. They look rather the same. Maybe I'll tell one they're older. More rocks for my ghost shrimp to hide under. Where are any ghost shrimp? There's one. Right back there. You can kind of see him moving his antenna. Hi, Grammy! They're both males. They're just two different dwarf species. Very colorful. I'm happy. That's all I really want in Goramis. Oh, let's see here. There's a Java fern. That's in the front there is a Amazon sword that didn't do well in one of my other tanks, but uh, now in a dirted tank, it ought to start growing back. That's a healthy leaf there. Um, and back there is a bunch of anacris. Like, I had two big plants. I trimmed them down and put them in sections of, like, five. And some of them are starting to grow really fast, like that tall one that has, like, two ghost shrimp on the top of it, you can see there. Some of them are doing really well. Some of them are taking a little bit more time to get growing. These big Amazon swords came in, uh, they were pre-potted. You just take the plastic pot off. I put it down into my dirt substrate. That's, well, it's there in the darkness. Um, and what was really cool about the Amazon swords is they have this little grow-off thing. There's like this tall runner that comes out and starts growing a new plant and I just cut it right underneath the roots, stuck it down in the dirt, and I'm hoping that thing's gonna stay great like that, especially now that its roots are now down in the dirt. So, pretty little tank. Kinda nice with uh, the rock set up here. Duckweed keeps getting knocked up there. I'm, I'm not sure if it's maybe the fish doing it. This one has some ni a, a bit of duckweed floating. You can kind of see. But I keep having that problem. I'm not sure if it's from evaporation or the fact that my cat keeps hopping up here and drinking out of the filter here since I have the lid off. I have these two bamboo trying to uh, help me uh, with the filtration. You can't see because it's dark, but the filter basically overflows. The filter just gets clogged with dirt and everything pretty damn fast in this tank, so I've been leaving it like this. Uh, anyways, this is becoming long. I wanted to make this a quick update.